Hi, my name's Ian, I'm the Brew Worm, and today my mission starts. Long term, I want to make my own brew kits, all grain kits, and hopefully sell them. Uh, I've been brewing now for three years, thoroughly enjoy it. Had a few mishaps along the way, but I think I'm eventually getting there. So today is my first tutorial on all grain brewing. Perhaps the most boring part of the brewing experience is the sanitisation part. Uh, has to be done, I can't uh, reiterate enough how important this is. Now I use a very simple product, um, it's the Berkland's Cleaner, which you can get from Wilkinson's. Requires rinsing afterwards, so a little bit of extra work, but hasn't failed me yet. So, if it hasn't failed me, I will continue with the same process. Um, another thing that's vitally important is after use, always clean your kit. Don't leave it till the next time you have to dig it out and use it. Uh, it saves you a lot of work, uh, makes life a lot easier on your brewing day, and means you can focus on the task ahead, which is hopefully making fantastic beer, which you can share with your family, friends, and more importantly, yourself. Okay, I'm just going to run you through some of the items I'm using for my uh, all grain brew today. So firstly, it's my converted tea urn with ball valve. Um, bought this about a year ago. It's been brilliant, uh, the setting worked perfectly for what I want. On to my mash tun. Again, a great piece of kit, holds the temperature perfectly, there's hardly any variance uh, whilst using it. And my fermenting bucket. Um, I've had this for about three years now. Um, started using it when I was using the kits, and again, it's been cleaned really well, looked after well. Still using it, still going strong, still producing great beer. And finally, my water chiller. The water chiller uh, is used basically to bring the temperature down as quickly as possible to stop any uh, infections within your beer. Uh, probably a little bit small for the size of my kettle, but it does the job, brings the temperature down, and so far, my beer has been fantastic with no infections. Okay, today I'm uh, brewing a brew packs uh, all grain kit. It's a uh, lemon bitter. I tried it once before, it was brilliant. Uh, really, really enjoyed it over the festive period. Bit of a twist today, I'm adding some extra honey to the uh, to the match, probably run a little bit more to the uh, secondary fermentation phase, and one thing I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to dry hop uh, the secondary phase. Um, and so did it before Christmas, had a lovely pokey taste to it. You can really taste the hops. I think it really transformed the beer. The brew worm is ready to go. See you in a bit. Right, as you can see, I'm transporting the water from my kettle into my mash tun. I've hit the uh, desired temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. I've gone in a little bit on the warm side because I don't preheat my mash tun. So I want um, to warm it up as quickly as possible. There's about 19 and a half litres of water going at there now. Um, should be finishing shortly and I'm ready to start my mash. See you in a bit. Okay, so the grain is now in. The water temperature is currently sitting at around 67 degrees, probably fractionally under that. Um, I had to add some cold water to bring the temperature down, but already smells great, looks good. See you in an hour and a half. Okay, got about 20 minutes to go uh, in the mash. Um, everything is looking great as you can see, um, a nice foamy head on top, uh, great smell. The temperature has stayed at around uh, 66 degrees Celsius, uh, which is perfect. Um, all looking good. I've been uh, stirring every 30 minutes just to make sure there's no dough balls in the bottom. So far so good, looking forward to the boil.
Okay, just finishing off the sparge. So the last few uh, drinks are now going to the brew pot. Uh, added about another litre of water. Um, and as you can see, beautiful colour. And we're ready for the boil. Just waiting for the hot break to happen now. Um, basically, that's where the uh, proteins uh, that are formed on the top get burnt through to form a nice little hole. As you can see, all this lovely matter is about to form a small hole any minute now. Gotta be careful with boil over. As you can see, the hot break is just about there, so I'm just turning. Whoa. Okay, I'm just about to have my first hot petition, which is East Coast Goldings. Um, this will be in there for an hour and a half. This is now going into the boil. Let's give you a nice tea bagging. And these are the uh, bittering hops. So this will give the, the beer the bittering it requires. And it will sit in there for about an hour and 30 minutes. Now to get an idea of the alcohol percentage, um, I did a uh, sample earlier, put it in the fridge, chilled it down, and as you can see, it's coming out at around 5%, which is bang on, exactly where I wanted it to be. Okay, just about to add the last uh, hot addition of East Kent Goldings for the last five minutes, which I'll put in. As you can see, the brew is going lovely. Hot bag just resting on the top there. Great smell, great colour. Looking forward to trying this one. Okay, we now have the water chiller running. Uh, hopefully, it's doing its job, cooling down the temperature of the. Uh, the brew. I'll leave this running for about 40 minutes. Uh, Takes them to right down, uh, ready for the yeast to be pitched. Okay, the last part is the transformation from the uh, brew kettle to the fermenter. Decent temperature, um, about 18 to 19 degrees, perfect for pitching the yeast. Hopefully, I'll get about 20 litres out of this. Okay, so fermentation is about two and a half days in now. Um, as you can see, a nice uh, layer of chrysling around the side of the fermenting bucket. Uh, fermentation has slowed down a bit now. It was a lot more lively um, yesterday. As you can see, the bubbles are far less frequent. Um, I pitched the yeast, I didn't stir the yeast in. I always just leave a, a layer on the top after aerating the wort. And the temperature stayed fairly consistently, as I said, around 19, probably more like 20 degrees Celsius throughout this fermentation. Two more days, maybe three more days in primary before I rack it to a secondary. 
the instructions do say three days in primary, which I think is probably a little too short for my liking. So I tend to give it five, um, and I tend to also give it between five and seven in a second.